and I'm uh, always very impressed with him. I, I think that he just really he, he's hungry for that first place spot. Oh yeah, he's he hungry. He, dude, he, you know how many times he's gotten the grants only to like barely lose. Oh man, definitely. This week may not be his week, but he can study the vods. Yep, study the vods. I think I think that set in particular uh, is worth a lot to look at. Yeah, I definitely think with Inkling, um, maybe with the roller, I think if he just had awareness for the roller a lot more, he definitely would have um, evaded a lot of those kill setups yeah. that Unleashed had. I think it's really weird because the red was playing a lot different than how he usually does. Usually he's very... Um, uh, he, play, he, he played weirdly in this game. He wasn't doing a lot of stuff he normally does. I think he was trying to try some new stuff. Like, for example, one of his um, one of the things he really likes doing is forward smash on ledge. Um, I I forget. Did I tell you about the like? It covers like three out of the four options. You can oh do. yeah, no, it's ridiculous. Yeah. He, I was trying to. Um, I was getting caught by that actually from uh, another Pokemon trainer player. Uh, Grifflabel. The the one where it sounds like you puke. Grifflabel move. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go Grifflabel move. <laughs> but here we go. We got grand finals. Yeah, Buzz grand versus finals. Unleashed. So we got Unleashed in Loser's side, Buzz in Winner's. Buzz pulling out that nice B-Reverse arrow. Definitely, um, I can see Toon Link doing pretty well in this matchup because uh, Unleashed was letting me know that as long as you're keeping your space from Inkling and you're not getting rushed down, then you're not doing too bad. As you can see right here, he's keeping his space, getting his damage in, and he's not giving Whoa. any opportunities. Yeah, but you have to keep, keep in mind. Um, Unleashed is, uh, I think he's a very slow start player. He has to wake up. Oh yeah, definitely. He definitely takes a little bit just to feel you out a little bit. And I feel like he kind of builds that self, that, uh, that confidence in you, and then he kind of takes it away afterwards. Just oh. like that. Getting that nice down smash on the ledge, killing him sub 100%. It was 100% after the hit. Well, it's definitely, he's in winners though. I usually, I usually consider um, kill percentages to, like on the before the hit and after the hit. All right. Like, I won't, won't consider the after effect damage, because I don't think, does, does the damage dealt during the hit, um, how, how much of, of that damage I know is you're included in the knockback? Yeah, I know, I know exactly what you're saying, and I have no idea, because I wish I knew. That's a good question. Yeah. I, I would assume all of it. Yeah. I assume the damage comes first, knockback second, in, in regards. Yeah, the damage would come first, right? Yeah. yeah. Because the percentage shows up and then the headstone happens. So yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, but I know that th that is shown, but I didn't know if like it's what's calculated first. I think it's damage first. That's what I think too. So maybe we should consider the after effect, the damage that can be dealt as well. Yeah. Ooh, he had a grab right there. So oh. here we go. Got him on the ledge. Ooh, and Buzz. Oh, oh, the that was that was I, I respect that. Definitely try to get in the punish, but it's a little harder, especially with some some multi jabs. You you just let it go, shield a little too early, or they let oh. it go. Dude, that that perfect lev coverage right there. A B is underrated on the ledge because it will cover a lot of options, and if you get up on it, it actually kills surprisingly early. Mm -hmm. So Buzz, with that Buzz does that a lot. Yeah, Buzz getting that kill. Plus, it makes the other person upset because they don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> and if they do know that, it's like, are you really going to hit by Link's up? I don't think there's any shame in getting hit by anyone. Yeah. I feel that. Like, the amount, of, the amount of times I just kind of, like, throw out a down B is rudely and neutral and it hits is kind of astonishing. <laughs> that, that, that move hurts me physically. Like, I get, like, stabbed to my character in the heart and then I get stabbed too. Let's, let's go bomb combos. Bombo combos. A Let's variation go. of the Wombo combo. Bombo combo. Dude, imagine just booting a bomb. <laughs> and just explode. Imagine seeing like a a big blue sphere and just being like, ah, I'm taking that. I'm <laughs> no. That was my with my uh, my J's. Dude, that recrab though, that was Ooh. kind of fucking sick. <laughs> he he waited so long for that recrab. That was that was very well played by Buzz. That, that was that was like a no mix up mix up. <laughs> Those are the best mix-ups, though. Yeah. Because you never, you never expect, like, if it doesn't work the first time, just try to try again. Especially, like... That was like a no-mix-up mix-up frame trap. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Music counter pick. Oh. Can we get... Dude, look at all those battlefields. See? These are men of culture. Brawl Dude, definitely had some what's of the best the, what's, what's that one, bat, like, FD theme? 
game that just had like a bunch uh that like had a, like a bunch of like f-zero sounds in it you know what i'm talking about oh what the the melee one maybe it's like <laughs> just super like crazy Techno and yeah maybe. i think it was melee but you know what that's what one you want know is probably uh the best track in the game this right here two either that I don't know, I was gonna say something, but I don't want you to, I don't want you to hit me. What are you gonna hit? What are you gonna say? Ring a ding. No, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. You're not the first person to say that to me today. <laughs> that, the red said that to me on the car right here. I'm like, ring a ding. I'm about to go, <laughs> I'm about to step off a commentary, go up there and be like, yo, can you put ring a ding? <laughs> but what we do have right now is a character change. I did not know that Unleashed actually plays Wolf. Yeah. Very strange. But hey. You know, he knows something we don't. Yeah, Plus, I think it's a good pick, too. Yeah, versus uh, Toon Link, you kind of take away him super controlling your projectiles because yeah. you have your own. Like, uh, like uh, I forgot if it's you or the guy I was uh, unleashed. Uh, not unleashed, but the other guy I was talking with. I forgot his name again. I'm sorry, guy I was commenting with before you. Uh, shout out to said, the guy. Yeah, shout out, to, shout out to that guy next week. I'll remember his name next week. Uh, he was talking about how Wolf, you, you got to outrush down Wolf. Can. Yeah, that was me and you. That was you? Okay. Yeah, and me. Uh, that was uh, me and Amadeus. You really have to, to beat Wolf, you're going to really have to out-Wolf Wolf, which is easier said than done, because Wolf has a very polarizing kit. And his Wolf. Yeah. Wolf, 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 Wolf. You know, I was always I was telling um, Panzer, actually, who's uh, a local Sonic main in our region. Let's go and Panzer. I was saying that a lot of characters that were developed for this game are kind of, kind of OD. Yeah. Wolf, Inkling. Wolf, Inkling, Snake. A lot of the new characters are really good. Crom, little, little OD, little OD. <laughs> Not to say that there aren't returning characters that are top tier or high tier. Like, dude, Palutena and Roy going from low tier in Smash 4 oh to, like, God. top 15. I, like, I used to play Palutena in Smash 4, Same. and then I touched her in this. I, like, I tried to play her in this game, and it felt like freaking butter. <laughs> she just moves so smooth. Yeah. It sucks that, like, her, her grab stuff is, like, so hard to do now. Um, like, yeah. turn, like, like, do you remember when like down throw bear was like her special? Like you, you literally like hit like 15 down throw bears in a set. I mean, well, uh, with a lot of practice, you'll get like used to it, but definitely, it's definitely harder in this game. Oh yeah, definitely. But what's also harder is this matchup for Buzz. Yeah, down but... down a stock versus unleashed definitely oh, does not have the answers. He was he was about to get some some whack build a bear combos. <laughs> I think I. I I think I said this. Uh, Tink is the most build a bear character in this game. Oh yeah, you kind of. I feel like Tink, like Tink players, they don't really have like combos in their head. It's just kind of like stuff it links flows. together. Yeah. It flows. It flows. But that's what's like the beauty of watching a Toon Link player, because yeah. you'll. The Dude, way that I thought, I thought about unrelated. I thought that bomb that was on the ground that was about to blow up was just part of the stage for a second. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Damn, I thought we put stage hazards. Off. Yeah, right? <laughs> What's going on here? Dude, imagine if FD had stage hazards. Dude, <laughs> that'd be that'd be kind of that'd be kind of stupid. Right, PCG fell. What if what if what if FD had stage hazards? He, he was in a zone, and then he would just listen to our like our our esports, and then he just heard you. <laughs> yep. I always try to include our boy PCG fell. Not on commentary tonight. Usually Shout out to him running the stream though. Yeah, making this possible for us seven people. Yeah, us us. Technically, uh, technically nine because there's you and me. Yeah, and then you got the people watching yeah. over there who are getting hyped yeah. and screaming. Definitely. Let's get let's get a shout out to uh, our boys Rashad, Van, BP, all the TOs, all the, oh. the guys that run this place. PCG Bones wasn't here today. He's usually the guy who runs Melee. Uh, isn't here today. Random shout out, Dead Man Dill. That Dead guy is Dill. that guy is like my favorite person ever. Didn't get to talk as much today, but I love that guy. Yep, Dead Man Dill's pretty good. Dude, have you seen his? Um, Next time you're here, uh, if you ever see him in oh, if you ever see him in Casa in a set, just drop what you're doing and watch that set. He was telling me before, because last week I had to play him to get um, into uh, ninth, and he was saying that he had to play uh, Casa, and every time he plays him, he needs like a second, just because those sets are always so close between yeah. them. Yeah, dude, our, my boy is Smack Club Casa. I love him to death. Like he's amazing. He's a great player. He's like the only Mewtwo main in existence. Yeah. That guy. He runs up. He runs up. Dead Dill's at 150%. He's holding shield for like three seconds. Whoa. And it's so scary. He's holding shield for three seconds. He's Casa's dashing up. All he had to do grab him up throw. And he would have he would have taken the set, but he up smashed instead. 
Those are some ultimate footsies. Yeah. But no <laughs> no pun intended for this ultimate grand finals. Yeah, between, let's go. <laughs> between Buzz and Unleashed. Dude, you, you got the same kind of transition I do. I love it. <laughs> It's got a like I got them the tooling conversions <laughs> <laughs> You got those got those built you got those um build a bear build builder transitions. <laughs> See I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just like it's going. You going places. Kinda like are those how, places you don't know. Kinda like how Buzz is going on a ride right now on the wolf yeah, on the wolf, wolf train. train. Tell you tired. And then I, I'm I'm pretty tired myself. I tell you that's midnight right now. It's midnight right now. I got work, you know, at one thirty. I got work tomorrow at four in the afternoon, so I gotta check my schedule, make sure I'm not going actually that I'm going in at 1 and not like 8 a.m. I'm about to say, yeah, I'm gonna have to get off commentary. I have work tomorrow at like 7 in the morning. <laughs> you know, now that I think about it, I really hope that my carpool didn't leave without me. Do you live, like, I live in Plano. Oh, damn. I was about to say, I could, like, hook you up, but I live on the opposite side of... Yeah. So, no, no worries. I think they're still here. After this match, I'm going to go check. I'm about um, to hook up an Uber. Yeah, because if, if... Oh, dude, that'd be 70 bucks. <laughs> oh, I've, I've, I I looked at the price. It was, like, a $70 Uber. I was like, oh, my God. From here to my house. Yikes. I feel bad for the Uber driver, too. Yeah. Because the Uber, the Uber driver has to, like, go yeah. all the way from here to there. I'd have to tip them like 20 bucks. So I'd, I'd pay 100 bucks for an Uber drive. I don't want to say it on stream, but I, I'm right there and you're right there. Oh. I live right here. <laughs> so. <laughs> but you know, Buzz is kind of, he might be he might be living in loser's bracket if he doesn't make this comeback right now. Yeah. He, he does not have the answer to this wolf. I don't what, know. What, the loser's bracket against Unleash when Unleash resets that bracket? Because it's the grand finals. That is true, yeah. Sure. He just does not have the answers right now. I'm not sure if Buzz plays another character or if he's very confident as Toon Link. I know um, if he's playing Toon Link, he probably has a lot of character prize, so he's probably not going to yeah, change. Yeah, um, Buzz is a character loyalist. Oh, I can super relate to that. So he's definitely going to try to stick to his guns. I'm just, I'm not sure what types of changes he can make to really combat this wolf with Toon Link. And definitely getting forward smash to 80% is not the counterplay for that. Nope. No, no, don't. Oh, you're good. I'm so sad. I want to change my shirt at work. I had the Naifu shirt, but yep. I have a uh, Kingdom Hearts camera? Kingdom Hearts 2 shirt. Uh, I wish I was wearing my uh, Katawa Shoujo shirt right now. No, uh, see, you're looking like fresh because you have the whole matching outfit. And it's yeah, all gray. I, got, I got the gray. I got the nice. I got the nice blues. So you look way like cleaner than I do. I'm wearing like sweatpants and like I just. Look like you just got a shower. <laughs> I kind of did. I work. <laughs> I work in the kitchen at a nursing home. So. <laughs> yeah. You got some crazy stories out of there. I, I I just work at a uh, an orange department store. An orange like orange like amplifiers or orange. I work, like... I work at Home Depot. Oh okay. I thought you meant like orange like amplifiers or like no. you just straight up sell oranges. <laughs> like. Yeah, orange department store where it's just it's, <laughs> it's tools for uh, it's literally all just orange juicers. It, it's every Walmart. single cell. It's Walmart for colorblind people who only see orange. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, let's go, Busty J, uh, being uh, green blue colorblind, not not knowing that uh, the dollar sign was, <laughs> was, was, was green instead of blue. No, we love them though. Let's go, Busty J. Our our, our local me sword fighter man. Definitely. We we thought he was the only one until today. Yeah. And then I don't know what his name, what his tag was. He's playing against Hopper. That man showed up today. I don't know what he placed, but I mean he was playing as Hopper's a loser, so he probably got one two two. That's not too bad. The way I look at it, if you take <laughs> if you take at least one game, you're already doing better than a lot of people. Yeah. You're already doing better than 25% of the bracket. You you can't compare yourself to. Like if you, if, I'm sure if you saw the way that these players practice, you would just be amazed. And yeah. But. Like, I I know that if I practice more, I probably would do better. But I um, that call out by the way, that didn't yeah. work. But like that call out, like I I don't practice at all. Like I literally only play here. Oh jeez. And I'm I'm still get, I'm still making like twos, and I've I've made top eights before and stuff like that. So. That's not bad. Yeah. I. <laughs> I practiced eight hours a day, <laughs> and I'm only getting nine. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, I'm making. Pro we, I'm learning. I'm learning. I got. I, I got. To, I've been playing fighting games for a very, very long time, so it's very easy. I've got. I've got all the. I've got the sentience down. Yeah, you got like the the general knowledge. Yeah, the knowledge. 
Hey, so off topic, but yep. I am an avid listener to audiobooks, and I yep. actually have my folder yep. as knowledge. <laughs> With me and my Lamborghini. You should um. You know, you should listen. I don't know if there's an audiobook, but if if you if you like older books, you should give uh, Earth Abides by George R. Stewart a listen. I or read. It's a uh, it's a 1940s post-apocalyptic novel. So it's Earth Abides. George R. Stewart. So, you know who won't abide? Unleashed. I'm trying to reset the bracket. <laughs> I <don't>, oh, <laughs> resetting the bracket. Could he say anything? <laughs> Commentator's blessing. Well, definitely making right. that nice reset. I'm gonna make sure that my guys didn't ditch without me. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to hold 